In the case of the child beauty queen found murdered in her Colorado home, Boulder police detectives have now returned from interviewing about 30 people in Georgia where John Bonet Ramsey has relatives and where she was buried. A spokeswoman says the police have also been in contact with the girl's mother and father and hope to interview them later this week. Diana Olick has our report. Investigators who have been focusing on the family home of six-year-old murder victim Jean Benet Ramsey have now issued two search warrants in Boulder and in Michigan where the family owns another home. What they gathered is still unknown. Meanwhile, people who didn't even know Jean Benet are stopping by the house to lay tributes. It just really touches your heart. We've got three little girls and just couldn't imagine life without them. In the weeks since the murder, we have learned more about the world in which Jean Benet lived, a beautiful child of a wealthy family driven to succeed in a unique world of lights and pageantry. I want to be a cowboy sweetheart. Jean Benet was polished and precocious, part of a world involving children paraded before their friends and parents. She was named Little Miss Colorado. Did Jean Benet have a bright future? Oh, definitely. Talent agent Deanna Hediger met her two years ago when Jean Benet's mother, a former Miss West Virginia herself, was starting her on the pageant circuit, an expensive and competitive goal. She seemed quite involved in her daughter doing well. Was it really important to her? It seemed like, you know, that she was really into it and really wanted her daughter to do well. Yeah. The Ramsey family showcased their daughter in everything they did. This tape was commissioned by the Ramseys two years ago as a Christmas gift to friends. Hello, I'm Patsy Ramsey. Daddy's not here, but this is Jean Benet. She's four, Burke is seven. And we'd like to welcome you to our home and wish you a very Merry Christmas. Wait, Wait, Jean Benet. <laughs> the privileged world in which Jean Benet lived now extends even to her death. Her parents have hired their own private detectives to investigate the murder in this home. Boulder police are finished here, and some detectives have gone to Michigan. They still have not interviewed the parents. Diana Olick, CBS News, Boulder.